let's solve this Harvard entrance exam uh, question together. So we are asked to find x if x is real, right? So we have 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 68. Okay? By me looking at this, notice that you can put 8 in the same base as this. Yes, because 8 to the power of x can be written as 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x, right? Plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 68. Now we can bring this in and bring this out without changing the value. So that means that we can write this as 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 68. All right, perfect. Now we have 2 to the power of x, 2 to the power of x. Let's simplify it by calling it something. So let A equals 2 to the power of x. Now, if we say that, that means we can rewrite this equation as what? This becomes a raised to the power of 3 plus a is equal to 68. All right. Now, let's bring this plus 68 to the other side of the equation. So, we'll have a to the power of 3 plus a minus 68 is equal to 0. All right. Now, this is a cubic polynomial. And... We cannot solve this by, uh, let me solve this using factorization method, but I'm going to use uh, the synthetic division method to bring out the other factor. Now, to do that, I need a factor that will suit this, that is, that will make this statement to be true. And that is when A, if we say let A be equal to 1, this will not be true, right? If say let A equals 2, it won't be true. But if we say let A equals 5, let's check. 5 to the, sorry, equals 4. 4 to the power of 3 plus 4 minus 68 is equal to 0. And 4 to the power of 3 is 64, right? Yeah, it's 64 plus 4 minus 68 is equal to 0. So definitely this is true. So that means that we can say that A is equal to what? 4, all right? So A is equal to 4. Now, we are going to use this to divide uh, the equations of this to get our quadratic equation. So to do that, let's divide by 4. Now, the coefficients of the values we have here is 1. Then, we're supposed to have a to the power of 2, and that means the coefficient is 0. Then we have A, that is coefficient is 1. And then we have our constant, which is minus 68. So we are going to divide through by 4, right? Now, we are going to use this for this, how we are going to do it. We are going to bring down 1. Now, 4 times 1 is what? 4. Then we add. 0 plus 4 will still give us 4. 4 times 4 is what? 16. Then we add. 1 plus 16 will give us 17. Now, 4 times 17 will give us plus 68. 68, then we add, and this, uh, when you add this to this, you get zero. So this forms the coefficients of our quadratic equation. All right, so this means that if A is equal to four, if A is equal to four, that means that A minus four is equal to zero, right? Yeah, when you transfer this plus four to this side, you get minus four. So that means that A minus four is equal to zero. All right. Now, that means these are the factors that we have. A minus 4 multiplied by, then this will be our A squared, all right? Plus 4A plus 17. Okay, is equal to 0. So this is what we have now. Now, permit me to draw this line. Then, from here, we can say that A minus 4 is equal to 0. And that a squared plus 4a plus 17 is also equal to 0. Now, if we should solve for the first one, for the first case, that means a is equal to 4. Now, for the second case, we are going to use, um, what is it called? We are going to use the complex uh, quadratic equation formula, sorry, to solve for the value of a here. Now, but before that, we are told that our a is real, right? That our x is real, sorry. So if x is real, that means we don't need any complex solution here. Now let's check if this is going to give us a complex solution by using the discriminant, okay? 
So the discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Now, in this case, what is our a? Our a? Our a here is the coefficient of a squared, which is 1. Our b here is the coefficient of a, which is 4. And our c is our constant, which is plus 17. So let's substitute this into this discriminant to see if we are going to get a complex or not. Now, the discriminant is equal to b squared, that is 4 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1 times c, which is 17. So the discriminant is 16 minus 4 times 17 will give us 68. So obviously, if we solve this, we are going to get a number that is less than 0. That simply means that if we solve this particular equation, then we are going to get complex roots. And that is not needed. So we are not going to go further with this. Rather, we are going to solve with this particular one. This one that says that A is equal to 4. Now, recall that our A is equal to 2 to the power of X. We are looking for the value of X, not A. So we are going to substitute this A with what? 2 to the power of X is equal to 4. Okay? Then we go ahead and solve. That means 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2. Now, by comparison, this implies that x is equal to 2. Now, let's check. Let's check. So, let's substitute x equals 2 into this equation to see if it's going to give us real. Uh, it's going to give us the number, this 68. So, we have 2 here and we have 2 here. is equal to 68. x to the power of 2 is 64 and 2 to the power of 2 is 4. Is equal to 68. Now 64 plus 64 is 68 is equal to 68. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And subscribe if this is the first time you're coming across this video.